What's up guys? We're back with another commentary. It's been a little bit. Um, there goes the pro class start. Um, it's gonna be a little dry today, but I actually look forward to these conditions and um, made some adjustments to my bike from the last race where I struggled and uh, seemed to be a lot more comfortable today. So I um, actually really enjoyed the layout um, and had a good time. So let's enjoy. You don't need me to tell you it, but the dust is gnarly, and it was tough being here in the back of the pack, and, uh, you know, I was hoping for a good start, spun out in the turn, but, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna do our best to try to make up the ground, and, uh, you know, just, just ride smooth, I guess. So one of my major struggles here lately has been the first lap speed, um, you know, and um, there for a little bit in the first lap, I was kind of barely holding on. Um, Anderson made a small mistake and I was able to catch up to him and I was, in my mind, I'm like, I cannot let him go. Um, I needed to learn this early pace and hopefully not get arm pump like I had. And, uh, but like today I was feeling a lot more comfortable, a lot more confident in the bike and, uh, just a lot more confident with what I was doing so you know I was, I was having a good time and um, just trying to trying to stay up there with the guys and then right here he stalled his bike so I was able to get into fifth for the end of the first lap <laughs> Now he rode behind me for the whole next lap and I pitted here to start the third lap. Um, I figured it would be best to stop now and just do a little reset. And I felt like I was kind of struggling there for a little bit on lap two so I was going to try to reset and uh, regroup and go pit and then uh, start ripping again. Like I said earlier, I didn't really have that early speed like some of those other guys did, but um, 
after looking at lap times and like where I should have been for lap time wise, um, I wasn't fading uh, very much at all. I think some of the some of the guys, the track, the first half of the track was pretty gnarly, and uh, it would really take it out of you on the first half, and um, you almost would like kind of regroup on the second half. But I felt I felt confident with my uh, fitness, and I felt like I was I was riding good and uh, feeling all right with fitness wise. Um, even though I hadn't really been able to train much the week before due to the end of the semester at college, um, but you know I, I was feeling confident and uh, you know looking to try to make some moves forward now as uh, we're still in in fifth place um, and uh, you know feeling feeling all right and now I got a little bit of clear track so we can try to make up some of that lost time.
on, dude. Hold it together.
Come on. As you can tell, this is after it had started raining, and I've caught back up to Anderson here on the fourth lap, still running my consistent pace. Uh, and, you know, I caught up to him, and I had this line in my mind, and uh, he didn't notice it, so I was able to attack. This 
a little unfortunate incident that kind of, you know, screwed it up for me. I was a little impatient, and I wanted to just cut across and make it happen since he was on that side, but he was uh, crossing to the other side. And, uh, listen to the thunder. Pretty gnarly stuff when you're still racing your motorcycle.